Alrighty, what is going on everybody? My name is Blitzwing and of course welcome to another episode of the 100% walkthrough or the mini kit guide and red power brick guide for LEGO Batman. And today it is a special episode in Didio because today we actually get to move on to uh, the first level in the Joker's Return, which is pretty gosh darn cool indeed. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get in here. And it looks like we've got quite a few missions, of course, five as always. Uh, so today we take on the first one, which is titled Joker's Home Turf. And I hope he doesn't want to surf and turf. Uh, so I'm using Batgirl because a lot of people ask me to play as Batgirl. So there you have it. Just to show you that you can play as Batgirl, you don't have to play as Batman uh, all the time. And uh, you could also play as Nightwing if you choose to do so. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. And uh, by the way, thank you guys so much for the support on the previous episode. So let's get rolling and here we go. Jervis Tetch, aka the Mad Hatter, is a crazed villain whose criminal identity is inspired by the lunacy of Alice's adventures in Wonderland. He uses his mind control technology to bend people to his will, and he is never seen without a large and fantastic, or as I like to say, fan flippin' tastic hat. Okay, so away we go. Right off the bat, we get uh, just one more. Come on, where's the last one? Ah, whatever, just punch it. <laughs> I was gonna aim for it with my Batarang, then I'm like, you know what, just punch the guys. Let's make it easier. Okay, Batgirl can definitely kick some butt, that's for certain. Alright, so, uh, now, right off the bat, we are gonna need the assistance of El Robin, because we need to be collecting 25 little bits and pieces, uh, so uh, that's what our main priority is at the very beginning of this level. Come on, there you go. Uh, was there any in the corner there? Nope, okay. So we got 12, so we're almost halfway there, so just a little bit more to go. Uh, just gonna come back around here. I don't remember if these broke into more pieces necessarily. I cannot recall for some odd reason. I guess not. Uh, did these break into pieces? Nope, and this, nope, right? Okay, so that's okay. So now we head towards this way. And we break up these garbage cans, and trash cans, I guess. Kind of the same thing, though. There we go. So we only need five more bits and pieces, which I believe we shall be able to find right over here in this little pile. Okay, there we go. So I think we should have 25. Yep, indeed we do, which is fantastic. So now we can go ahead and uh, begin to progress. Oh god, I cannot wait to fire at those guys in just a split second. They're being annoying. There we go. Alright, see you later, jerks. Robin's again looking at himself. He's like, how the heck am I seeing myself in a different outfit? This is impossible, Batman. What did you add to my cereal again? Okay, so, uh, right now we've got ourselves uh, the little booger collector machine. That's what I like to call it. And uh, we gotta collect some boogers, of course. So, um, that's what we shall uh, do. Gonna get in here and start collecting some of those damn booger puddles. Here we go. Almost got all of them here. Now the main uh, reason here is uh, if you are just playing the regular mode, you don't need to collect them all right now. Uh, because primarily all you want to do is just use it to cross to the, uh, towards this area, like to clear out the goo like this. And then you could just walk through, right? Uh, as you see Robin doing behind us. Uh, but uh, if you want to do the 100% walkthrough, then of course you want to be doing this because uh, you will need... Goodness gracious. You will need this thing full of boogers in order to get one of the minikas, so that's why. Okay, so, uh, now that we're done with that, uh, we can go ahead and switch. Well, first off, we need to break all this stuff. There we go, and once you've done that, then you're gonna assemble these little rails, which will then allow you to hop up here. Then you switch, of course, to a character that can grapple hooks, such as Batgirl, which is cool. Alrighty, now right here you've got an outfit. If you want to put that together, you could go ahead and do so. Gonna hop on down. Time for a little bit of assembly. Now you might be wondering, should I be collecting those studs? If you want to get some more extra uh, studs, like blue studs, a bunch of blue studs uh, from the machine down there, the the machine that we deposited stuff into, uh, then obviously collect more things if you want to. But uh, in our case, you don't really need to do that because um, we're just focused on getting the mini kits and the red power brick. I really love the heat suit on Batgirl, that's very cool looking, isn't it? Okay, so now we need a character that can jump very high because that saves you a lot more time than um, actually attempting to uh, blow all this up and then reassembling it. It's just quicker to just jump up there and that's all. 
Okay, so now we enter this arena, greeted by a bunch of buffoons. We take them all out and continue to the next zone. Here we're gonna need a character that can glide, so of course we're gonna switch to Batgirl with her gliding outfit on. Okay, or you could use the penguin, by the way. I just realized that as I'm looking at him, I'm like, oh, or I could have just used the penguin. So I'm just gonna glide on across. And you don't have to do this in the same order as I am. I'm just showing you how I usually go about doing this. So you bring that down as well. There we go. Come on down over here, where you're gonna have a bunch of dudes waiting for you. Come on, guys. How y'all doing? Bam! See ya, see ya. Wouldn't wanna be ya. How y'all doing? Having a good day? I certainly hope so. Okay, so we cleared all that. Very nice. Very nice indeed. And now, I guess... Yeah, I guess we could come over here and do this one first. Uh, so you need the Joker to electrocute this little uh, mechanism so that then you could climb up here. And then you're gonna need a character that can uh, high jump, such as Clayface, for example. Hop up in here, grab yourself another medikit. Very nice. And then you're gonna come down here. Uh, you're gonna need Riddler for this, or Mad Hatter, for example, who we're actually gonna be facing in this level, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. So use someone who can mind control, basically. Um, so Riddler, Mad Hatter, um, I think you could also use Scarecrow, I'm pretty sure of that. Not 100% certain, but I'm pretty sure. And uh, once you make your way inside, this almost looks like a chessboard, doesn't it? Which is so weird when you are playing as Mad Hatter. Uh, then you get in here, you here gonna need to do some explosive planting. So we're gonna just plant all these suckers over here. And another explosive will go right here. And then we're just gonna set them all off. There we go, perfect. You're gonna need the assistance of the red heat suit uh, Batgirl, because otherwise you can't touch those hot pieces there. So you assemble that side, and then you come around over to this side to assemble the last two little bits and pieces right here. And there you go, so those are gonna get activated. And now you're gonna combine and connect, come on, go! Indeed, very nice. So once they connect, come on. Any minute now. There we go. They blow up. Because, of course, connecting things always makes them blow up. That's what I always found it funny that, hey, didn't we fix it? Why does it blow up? Shouldn't it do the opposite but, like, function well instead of blowing up on us? Doesn't make a lot of sense. But nonetheless, uh, once you've done that... Uh, oh, I forgot. You're going to need Robin right now to be collecting. Oh, goodness gracious. I forgot about that. So, uh, let's switch to Robin. Do a little bit of collecting here. In the corner, there's quite a bit of be uh, pieces, sorry. Beasts? I almost said beasts. <laughs> what the heck are beasts? I don't know, don't ask me. Okay, come on, there we go. So we got 14 now, which is pretty cool. I, I think we might be able to... I've never tried this, but might as well give it a go, right? You will never know if you never try. I guess if I use this character, hop up there. Because this is going to save you a ton of time, just because there are so many damn pieces in there, which is pretty awesome. Come on. Come on. Grab a couple more. Okay, there we go. All we need is 25, so once we've done that, we are just going to come back around over to this area, go into the little depository, and it will dispel a very, very cool cannon for us, which we will then use to clear this little door out of the way. It's actually going to use this very similar kind of bombs that you would see uh, the Demolition Suit Batgirl or Batman use, so pretty cool. You see those? Look. Pretty neat, though. So once that's clear, uh, you're actually going to come in here and grab your little uh, booger machine again. Uh, this time, of course, remember, we've already collected quite a bit of the boogers, so uh, once we clear all this uh, booger field, we should have a full tank of boogers. Or goo, or whatever you want to call it, but I like to call it boogers. And then uh, we will deposit that into a certain machine, which will reward us with a mini kit. So I'll show you that in just a minute. Uh, this is definitely one of those stages that requires a little bit more work, just because uh, there is a, isn't really a quicker way of doing this. I mean, you just kind of, you know, go along with whatever the challenge is, you see? So once you collected everything, that machine there in the corner will open up and activate, which will then allow you to actually bring this little... Uh, Machine, I guess. God, I'm repeating the word machine a lot. <laughs> this little vehicle, I guess, uh, over to that area and allow you to deposit all that gook. And once you do so, you get rewarded with a mini kit. So we're gonna get there. Come on, going pretty gosh darn slow right now, which is a little disappointing. 
Come on. Almost there. Almost there. Another hour. 40 hours later. There we go. So once you've done that, just gonna suck out all the gook. And you see that little blue stud that appeared? For us, we already had that particular mini kit, so that's why it's just a blue stud. But for you, uh, if you didn't find it yet, it would appear as a mini kit. So there you have it. So I think that leads us to a total of what? Four or three mini kits? Wait, let me see. One, two. One, two, three. I think that's three, right? Maybe four. I'm not certain. Oh, I'm confused. I am confused greatly. I think it's three. Uh, then you go ahead and assemble these little rotational wheels. Once you've done so, you press on both sides at the same time and head on to the next area. So right over here... Um, okay, goodness gracious. You get assaulted. That's what you do. You get assaulted by a crazy amount of enemies right off the bat. Um, come on. Oh, wow. Why am I just bothering to even... All I had to do was just... Oh, God. These guys are just not going to stop, are they? Okay. So I'm going to blow this up. And that will give you little pieces for the ladder here. And uh, you don't necessarily have to go up there. Uh, the only reason I'm pointing this out even... Because, I mean, uh, there's really nothing collectible necessarily up here. Oh, God. Okay. This is really not fun right now. There we go. Finally, was it managed to... Okay, please don't fall. Uh, the cool thing about uh, being up here on the scaffolding is that there's a ton of blue, uh, purple studs up here and blue studs. So that's just uh, why I wanted to point that out. You've got one right here and then one all the way over there. Uh, and it's pretty easy to get to it. So uh, definitely take advantage of that. Just because purple studs, you come across them so rarely that I just wanted to point that out. But nonetheless, uh, then we carry on. We go to this little area where you get to have a little bit of fun with... Whoops. Come on, pick up that bomb. I said pick up the bomb. The bomb? Pick up the bomb! What the heck is going on? Okay, come on. What the heck is that? Okay. Are you kidding me? There we go, finally. You could feel your controller shake when you're about at the right area. There we go. And basically what you gotta do is... I'm kinda failing at it right now. is blow these things up. I don't know what the heck is going on. Okay, come on. Go around. Grab this damn bomb. There we go. Come on, please. Okay, finally. We got one down. Now we got two more to go. Gonna come across this way. That looks about okay. That's two. Oh, okay, great. We actually brought down both of them with one. So that's great. I don't even think that's ever happened to me. And once you've done that, that little poisonous gas will clear the room, uh, which then will allow you to access this room and uh, assemble two uh, kind of like little red levers. Not levers. They're just like jumping platforms that both characters have to hop on up uh, onto at the same time. And once you do that, you get access to your next mini kit, which is pretty cool. There we go. So that's nice, and now we can carry on. Away we go. Alrighty, so... Looks like there's a welcoming committee over here. What's up, guys? How y'all doing? How's your day? Oh, God. Come on, push that off. Push this off. That will then assemble into a vehicle. If I can actually do it. I'm having a hard time right now. There we go. Oh, actually, I think at this section, I actually think you might actually be able to just carry on. You don't even need to. There we go. How the heck did he not blow up from that? That's bizarre to me. So you assemble this little ladder using the uh, materials from those two giant uh, silver boxes there. Once you've done that, you get yourself a cool little ladder. And I think you should be able to just uh, carry on it. I don't necessarily remember, but I feel like you should be able to. You're gonna need one vehicle for sure, because there's a section where you have to park a vehicle to activate the little platform. So uh, we'll make this one right here, but um, I'm pretty certain that we should be fine right now. Okay. First off. There we go. Reassemble, or disassemble all that stuff. I'm a little bit 
kind of don't remember some of this a little, unfortunately, as much as I'd like to. Uh, now, right here, actually, I do remember that we are gonna need someone like Poison Ivy. Where's Ivy? There she is. You pull on this lever, allowing that poison to shoot into the other side. And then allowing you to grab that mini kit over there. So that's pretty cool. Okay. Whoops, a daisy. Come on, swim out of there. There you go. Good job. So then. Oh, wow. Okay, Penguin's already on the other side. He's just hanging out with these guys. How's it going, everybody? Hope you're having a great day. Bam, bam. Umbrella autographs in your face. Okay, climb up here. And uh, he was actually supposed to deactivate this real quick. Which is kind of helpful once he's done that. So thank you. Thank you, Penguin. Appreciate that, bro. Cool story, bro. Blow all this stuff up. And I actually... I don't remember. I think this is a vehicle here, right? Uh, actually, the cool thing is, uh, from what I remember, you don't even have to do the assembly on this part. Uh, you could literally just... Uh, if you time your jump correctly, like so, uh, you could just carry on. You don't even need to worry about anything. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Well, do worry about falling down. That is definitely still a worry. There we go. Okay, so once you've activated that little thing right there, that will open up a bridge. And this is actually, I think, where you're going to need the vehicle. I'm pretty sure of that. I don't necessarily recall, but I think so. I guess we'll find out together right now, won't we? Uh, once I beat up all these dudes, real quick. Yeah, so this is exactly where you're going to need that car. So, okay, let me beat up this guy as well. And then I'm going to need to go back just a little bit to grab that vehicle there. So, uh, definitely something to keep in mind was probably to drive that car with you. Instead of uh, what I did here, which is just kind of, you know, progress without it. So just kind of take it with you, come, uh, take it along, especially if you're playing multiplayer, then it's even easier because you could just have your friend driving the car the whole time and then you would just worry about uh, completing all the stuff along the way. So here we go. And again, as I said, guys, this is definitely one of the longer ones to do just because a lot of this stuff requires time. Like, for example, even this, you know what I mean? It requires time to get the car, build the car, get the bridge, everything. So it's unlike a lot of the other levels where you could just kind of blast through them without worry. Here you actually have to do certain things uh, in before uh, you're able to continue and progress so um, I also believe is it down here I think almost certain maybe it's the one after this one uh, yep it's the one after okay I thought it was this one where there's a mini kit on the water spoiler alert all right time to come up on the bridge imagine those guys are probably playing cards or something all of a sudden poison ivy comes up there cool do we attack her I think we do Okay, so, uh, we gotta take care of this real quick, so we need a strong character such as Clayface or Mr. Freeze, either one works just fine. And then you're gonna need a character that can jump very well, such as Poison Ivy. And once you've done that, whoops, I said once you've done that, there we go. Perfect, you get yourself another mini kit right up there. So, uh, now that we've done all that, we can carry on and move on down through here. Uh, this is where you can find another mini kit. Right here, this little blue stud in the middle, that would be a mini kit typically. And uh, if you're using poison ivy, don't even worry about the poisonous water, because she can just swim in it. Hey, her name says it, poison ivy, so pretty sure she can swim in it. Alrighty, so here we go, just gotta beat up these few last dudes, and just move on to the next area. Now, before you go to the right, you actually want to take a left turn, and this is where you're going to be able to find the red power brick for this level. Well, not if you're getting shot constantly, it's kind of difficult to do so. There we go. But once they stop shooting you, then they're gonna start beating you up. <laughs> that, that's the rule, I guess. There we go. So they could just hang out over there. Whoa, okay. I guess not. I guess they could jump as good as Poison Ivy. It's a surprise of many, including myself. What the? Look at that glitch. Did anybody see that guy up in the air there? Okay, now we need to break this glass. So we're gonna call upon, of course, our Sonic suit here. And take out all three of these guys real quick. And uh, right up here, there's nothing but studs, so don't worry about anything there. Uh, what you need to do is you need to do... Uh, oh, God, this guy is ridiculous. Whoa, that was a cool move. Uh, you need to do some, um, some color mixing. So, for example, purple. You mix red and blue, you get the purple color, right? Makes sense, right? Uh, now you've got, what is it, green there? So that would be yellow and blue. 
and you get yourself green. And in orange, of course, you mix yellow and red to get the orange color. There we go. Fantastic. All that hard work pays off. And then you could just go ahead and, uh, whoops. It's easier to do it with a character that could jump high. Come on. What the? There we go. Perfect. Got our red power bricks, so and now we could come back around, go through this area. It looks like the Mad Hatter is just taking a bit of a bath. He's like, yeah, I've been pretty stinky. The job has been pretty busy, keeping me pretty busy. So, yeah, I'm stinking up the joint. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so I, th I thought maybe I'd be able to jumble, uh, jumble, double jump up there. But it didn't manage to do so. So I guess we'll just walk on up. Assemble this real quick. The generator here, because you need that for the bridge. And you just push this sucker over here. And then push it right here to act as a battery source, as a power source, I guess. Either way works just fine. And once the bridge lowers, then you can, of course, go ahead and cross it. Nah, oh, come on. Whoops, a daisy. Okay. Careful. Yes, okay. We've made it across. Now, you don't even need to worry about assembling the bridge right now. What you do need to worry about, though... Well, first off, take out all these goons. Come on. Goodness gracious. These guys just do not give up. You need to go ahead and uh, electrocute this little area here uh, with Joker. So you activate it like so. And once you've done that, this little elevator is going to go up. You're going to come up here. And just spin this little sucker around. You spin my head right round, right round. Okay, so once that's done, there's going to be a mini kit that appears. There it is. Perfect. So we got 9 out of 10 mini kits. Only one more to go. There's your citizen and pearl right up here. Rescue that person. And then you're going to need to come back around over here. Uh, where's our metal shoes? Robin, go ahead and turn the switch. Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Come on, just a little bit more. Almost there. Come on. That's a lot of work right there. There we go. Perfect. So now you get to the boss fight, which is actually where you will find the last and final minikit. There he is, the Mad Hatter. But we don't even need to uh, worry about him, because all we want is the minikit, and then we can just uh, exit and uh, save, and that will be A-OK. -okay. So you switch to a character like Penguin or um, Batman with the demolition suit or Batgirl with the demolition suit. You blow that stuff up and there you go. There is your final mini kit. So that's pretty cool. And uh, there goes the Mad Hatter. And uh, yeah, there it is. There you have it, guys. We found the Citizen Pearl. We found the Red Power Brick. We found all 10 of the kit. Uh, definitely a little bit more of an extensive level just because there's a lot more work. And again, you don't have to fight the entire boss fight every time you play this. All you have to do is go into the Batcave, press save and exit. And there you have it. That will now uh, conclude and summarize our successes. We looks like uh, we unlocked the freeze battering, which is pretty cool. Allowing you to freeze people with the battering. Remember previously we got the um, fire battering or the heat battering. I don't remember what they called it, but it was the one that's like uh, for the heat suit Batman. So that's pretty cool. But there we go. We got 1.1 million studs. Pretty gosh darn cool in DDO. And let's see what our mini kit looks like. Okay, that is a very, very colorful kit. And the colors just keep on coming. Okay, I assume that that was supposed to be the Mad Hatter's hat. Or something like that, right? Kind of, that's the shape of it or something. It's a very bizarre looking thing, I would agree as well. Uh, very, a little bit of an underwhelming minikit, but it is one that you must do if you want to get uh, all the unlockables that you possibly can. So that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video or it helped you in any way, shape, or form, please like the video, that helps me out a ton and would show that you guys want to see more of these. Of course, tune in tomorrow to see the next episode of lego batman 100 walkthrough and i hope you guys have a fan for the day also do not forget to share the video with your family and friends and favorite the videos those are all terrific ways to show supports for the series i hope you guys have a fan for the day and i'll see you later